Don't Look Up is absolutely amazing in every single way, and all of you guys are not prepared for the extremes of this brand new satire from Adam McKay. Trust me when I say this, this is a must-see movie, and honestly, I kind of hope it actually wins Best Picture. What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new movie review. Today, we're going to be discussing Don't Look Up. This is written and directed by Adam McKay, and of course, it's about two low-level astronomers who must go on a giant media tour to warn mankind of an approaching comet that will destroy planet Earth, and honestly, no one seems to care in this movie besides them two. This stars the likes of Leonardo DiCaprio, Jennifer Lawrence, Timothy Chalamet, Jonah Hill, Kate Blanchett, Meryl Streep, Ron Perlman, Mark Rylance, Ariana Grande, Tyler Perry, and so many more. This is probably one of the biggest stacked cast I've ever seen. And I've heard so many great things about this movie. Even before it had come out, I had some friends who had seen test screenings of this and really were hyping this movie up to be something special. Then the trailer came out and the trailer really wasn't my jam. I liked it, but it felt off and weird. And I didn't know how fully to feel about the movie. But after seeing the movie, I can wholeheartedly say that that trailer does not really delegate what this film is and how it is because it hides a lot from it, which is a good and a bad thing. And I can really much say that the hidden stuff in here is stuff that I'm glad I did not know about the movie because there are a lot of fun surprises in here, but a dramatic avenue that I was not prepared for throughout the entire runtime of Don't Look Up. Of course, if you're here, I'm sure you love movies just as much as I do. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so we can keep talking movies over here on a daily basis, as well as comment down below and let me know your guys' thoughts. What are your thoughts on Don't Look Up and just in general, Adam McKay's filmography? Do you like the more dramatic turn that he's been going the last couple of years? Do you like the more comedic route? Because for me, I love both. But right now, I'm ready to say Don't Look Up might be his best movie yet. With every review, let's start with the pros. And one of the big things I have to give this movie is the performances. Dear God, Leonardo DiCaprio shows why he is one of the best actors working today. And honestly, it displays why he is my favorite working actor right now. Anytime he goes and becomes into a movie, he embodies that role and completely immerses himself. You completely forget that it is Leonardo DiCaprio. And honestly, this is an unhinged DiCaprio that we we have never seen before in a more comedic approach, but in one that is in a satirical manner than anything that we've seen before. Obviously, we've seen Wolf of Wall Street, which is nearly, yeah, it has some black comedy elements to there where it's a little bit darker, more cynical. This one's just straight satirical in the way that it takes its approach into our society, into our politics, and into our world. There's something in there for everyone to laugh at, and that's something that I really loved about the script, which we'll talk about in a second, but DiCaprio's performance in here was phenomenal. Jennifer Lawrence again shows why she is one of the best actresses working today. I adored her in here. I actually thought she was fantastic. And again, both of their chemistry works wonders. They're both awkward, nerdy astronomers, and I love how they acted in this movie. As well as some of the other actors in here, Timothy Chalamet is great, even though he doesn't, he only has a small amount of runtime. Even going to Kate Blanchett, who is also stellar Tyler Perry being one of the co-hosts of them. They run this like talk host. And you have Meryl Streep and Jonah Hill, which might steal every single scene that they are absolutely in they were hilarious one of the most underrated performances in here that i don't think a lot of people are going to talk about is rob morgan and the sincerity that he brings to the role and really much the dramatic avenues this really much is making fun of our entire society our politics and everything making fun of both sides the left and the right and even the middle whatever you want to talk about it and that's how i loved about don't look up was the way that it attacked everyone and, you know, from a script writing wise, I can't imagine how Adam McKay was definitely trying to lean one way, but even made fun of the other way. And, you know, this movie isn't going to be for everyone. It's going to be divisive when it comes down to that. But for me, I, I ate it up. I loved Adam McKay's writing in here. And I actually liked how, again, the movie is absolutely hilarious in so many different point of views. And it makes me sad that this movie is actually going to be on Netflix because while it is going to theaters early, I wish that I could see this with a full crowded theater because I can't imagine the amount of laughs that people would get out of here because I was dying watching this movie at certain moments and scenes. There is one monologue that DiCaprio has in here that is not just poignant and perfect. It is absolutely daring and defining and I loved it. There's a couple running jokes as well in here. One in particular with Jennifer Lawrence about her having to pay for a snack that was actually free and it runs throughout almost the entire runtime and every single time it came up it 
worked. That's what I loved about this movie is because as hilarious as it was, it was truly showing what if this was actually happening in our world, I could see this exact scenario going down. With the tagline in here saying based on truly possible events, that's the truth because these are truly possible events here and again while it gets down to the humor really niche and you sit there laughing there is this heartwarming devastating and depressing element to it all that our entire world if this comet hits earth it will destroy everything and just that one little viewpoint on our entire world brings that stressful nature that you can really see DiCaprio and Lawrence's character going throughout the entire runtime. You feel that. You feel like you're in their shoes and trying to warn the world of what is going to happen. It never lets up for the two and a half hour runtime, which I was very impressed with. The fact that this movie is two and a half hours, it only felt like maybe an hour, hour and 45, which is fantastic because I just sat there immersed, wanting to see what would happen next. And maybe it'll feel a little bit long for everyone else, but for me, I ate up every single moment of this movie and it hands down became one of my favorite movie experiences that I've seen this year. When I get down to that more depressing and emotional element while you're laughing and enjoying yourself throughout the entire thing, but seeing the poignant pieces throughout it, when it gets down to the ending, the last third act, maybe the last like 30 minutes is very emotional and very touching. Well, again, being funny, but you really feel the depth of humanity and what humanity is. And I think Adam McKay has crafted his best movie yet because of all that. One of the things I haven't even mentioned yet is the technical aspects that Adam McKay went through. The way they edited this movie is a mix between uncut gems and of course other Adam McKay films like The Big Short and Vice. He gives this stressful tension nature that always feels unhinged and even a little bit of like how Shutter Island made you feel insane at times. There's a couple cuts, especially towards the back half of the movie, where you're sitting there and you're like, wait, is, was that supposed to happen? Okay, wait, they did it again there. Oh, wait, they did it again there. And he consistently shifts it throughout the movie that, again, makes you feel a little bit unhinged and makes you feel a little bit crazy. And that's how the movie is supposed to make you feel. Frustrated, mad, but joyful, laughing, and kind of just thinking, we really need to get our shit together. And that's something that I always get out of watching an Adam McKay movie. But this one, while the style was there, this had the most substance, I think, of all of his movies. And that's saying a lot, because I know not a lot of people were huge on Vice. I really dug Vice. I love the big short, but I adored Don't Look Up. This is easily one of Netflix's best original films also. No, I keep sitting here praising so many different things. I'm sure some of you guys are wondering, well, what do you not like? That's actually tough to say, because I liked a lot about this movie. Again, I can see some people thinking this movie is a little bit too long, but for me, I, I ate it up and I actually think this is, it's again, one of my favorite films of the entire year. I'm sorry, everyone. Don't look up. It's an absolute disaster, but in the best ways, it poignant and pokes at our entire universe and what it is in our society and all sorts of things like that. But in a way that again is poignant and real and what is truly going on here. The performances are honestly incredible in here. DiCaprio, Lawrence, Timothy Chalamet, Kate Blanchett, Jonah Hill, Meryl Streep, Ron Perlman, Mark Rylance, Rob Morgan, Michael Chiklis, every single one of these actors I mentioned all have a moment that play in here and even more than that that play along with this. There's cameos in here that you'll be surprised by. There's an end credit scene that you all must stay for because I lost my shit during that end credit scene. But Don't Look Up is something special. It's a technical achievement. It's easily Adam McKay's best movie yet. I love how it tackled the dramatic avenues and what is really going on in our world, but at the same time, tackling it in a humorifying way that made me laugh my ass off, but at the same time feel stressed and tension-filled, and at the same time depressed by the end of the movie. I love this film. I can't express enough how much I adore it, and I hope a lot of you guys do search it out. If it is playing in theaters, I can't emphasize enough to do check it out in theaters. If you have to wait, definitely check it out on Netflix when it debuts, because Don't Look Up is an absolute A+. Thank you everyone for watching this again you guys are seriously all the best i can't wait to hear your guys' thoughts on this movie because i'm really interested to see if you guys feel the exact same way i know a couple friends i talked with almost everyone is kind of the same way that we all loved it but that's where it's important to hear your guys' thoughts so again leave a comment hit that like and subscribe button if you're interested in seeing movies early as well make sure to head on over to sandwich on films on how to see films early and of course guys look out for a bunch of new reviews coming up soon so of course until next time stay classy